let's go. Vamos. Stretch a canvas for stain painting. These are my favorite canvas stretching tools. Four stretcher bars. Cotton canvas, also called cotton duck. Quilter square grid. Chinese scissors, they cut great. V-nails, a V-joiner, a little hammer, an electric staple gun, heavy-duty staples. Oh no! What if you don't have all this stuff? No worries. These are my favorite stretching tools that I've acquired over decades. Use what you have until you feel compelled to make investments in your art. If money is no object, most professional framers will stretch a canvas for you. Use what you already have. You can substitute simple carpet tacks for the V-nails, the V-joiner, the electric stable gun, and staples. They work just fine and are way cheaper. Stain painting requires ungessoed or raw canvas. The reason why is that the canvas has to be absorbent in order to accept staining. Gesso seals up the weave of the canvas fibers and makes paint sit on top of the surface. Stain binds into the canvas fibers and fuses into them, becoming a part of the canvas. Isn't that cool? bars slide together by the corner slots to form a frame to mount the canvas on. a carpenter's square, a quilter's grid, or a drafting triangle, or the right angle of a door jam. Square up the corners of your hand assembled stretcher frame. And then staple, carpet tack, or 
V-nail. Your stretch will frame together. Yay! Woohoo! Let's stretch a canvas now. What is canvas? I use my very large quilter's grid to mark out my canvas, leaving about one and a half inches bored around the outside of the stretcher frame. I use these super sharp Chinese scissors to cut the canvas. I bought the Chinese scissors at a Chinese market here in El Paso. Conditioning my canvas. I look closely at the canvas and study the weave of the fibers. Then I kind of finger press the cloth by pulling and stretching the square or rectangular cloth with my hands and fingers at the sides of the cloth, pulling it horizontally and vertically. This time I pull at the corners to stretch out the weave. I pull and stretch horizontally, vertically, and diagonally by pulling on the corner tips. Then I place a canvas flat on my clean work table. I wash my hands and make sure that I don't have any remaining lotions or oils on them. Then I use my palms to iron or press the cloth. Not all of the wrinkles are going to come out, and that is just fine. The canvas is going to shrink up as I paint. Not a problem. It has to have some give in the cloth, because if it is too tight, it will warp the stretcher bars as it shrinks when it gets wet and then dries out. Ready to rock and roll. Now I stretch the canvas out underneath my stretcher frame and eyeball measure it for symmetry. I staple one side in the middle. Then I pull and stretch the other side of the canvas horizontally and vertically. Then I staple the other side in the middle. Remember, not all of the wrinkles are going to come out and that is just fine. duck will shrink when it gets wet and then dries out. Like wool or jeans. Now I do the other two sides in the same way. I use a little hammer or mallet to help staples that didn't get driven in all the way. Then I drive in a staple on each side of the original staple on each bar, like with those arrows right there. Then I drive in a staple on each side of the original staple on each bar again. I continue the pattern. Two there two there, and then there's going to be the other two on the other side. I have to stop and leave space for tucking in the flaps of the corners, kind of like wrapping a present. Then I pull the canvas and wrap the corners, something like this. You have to pull pretty tight. Pull and fold and wrap around the corners, kind of like wrapping a present, see? Then staple your folds. And voila! Presto!
A stretch canvas ready to paint. Go, vamos. <laughs> 